A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 4, verses 24 to 30. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. He answered, I suppose you're going to quote the proverb, Doctor, go heal yourself. Do hear in your hometown what we heard you did in Capernaum. Well, let me tell you something. No prophet is ever welcomed in his hometown. Isn't it a fact that there were many widows in Israel at the time of Elijah during that three and a half years of drought when famine devastated the land? But the only widow to whom Elijah was sent was in Sarepta and Sidon. And there were many lepers in Israel at the time of the prophet Elisha. But the only one cleansed was Naaman the Syrian. That set everyone in the meeting place seething with anger. They threw him out, banishing him from the village, then took him to a mountain cliff at the edge of the village to throw him to his doom. But he gave them the slip and was on his way. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 24 to 30. Responding to Criticisms in the passage leading up to today's gospel, Jesus has proclaimed that he is the fulfillment of the words of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. In one moment, they all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. But then, they rejected him. As proclaimers of the gospel, if we don't experience what happened to Jesus, we need to ask ourselves, did I genuinely preach the true gospel or did I just say what people wanted to hear? There is a misunderstanding that a successful evangelist is someone who does not cause unrest or discomfort and only speaks pleasing words or follows conventional methods. Jesus and his message were rejected because the people could not take criticism. It is natural for us to want to reject an uncomfortable truth, to deny its existence, and to get rid of it as quickly as possible. However, what good does it do us to refuse to listen and stubbornly refuse to accept it? The result could be just as disastrous for us, our families, communities, and even the world as it was for the community in Nazareth. Jesus would pass through our midst and go away. Dealing with criticisms and those who point them towards us can be quite a challenging task. How do we respond to criticisms and people who level them against us?